Hi everyone, how are you? In this awesome lecture, I want to talk about the technical side of email marketing. So how it works, what is an SMTP, what is email client, how things work, what are the limits, what you need to know before you start your own email marketing system and much, much more in this small lecture. So stay tuned and let's start together. Okay friends, before we start, please support me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video, sharing with your friends, so I can keep up with you. What you need to know is this lecture is somehow conceptual. We don't have any labs, we will not work anything on our PC. I want to talk with you about some questions that I'm getting from many friends and many followers here on my YouTube channel or on my Udemy course or my Facebook page and so on asking about the email marketing concept and how it works and the limits and whatever. So in this lecture, in this 10 minute lectures, I tell my best to explain everything you need to know before you start, especially for beginners who want to learn about email marketing and start marketing, maybe CPA offers, affiliate offers, or maybe use their own email marketing system to start email marketing campaigns. So I really recommend to watch this lecture till the end. I know we don't have any labs to motivate you, but I really recommend to hear every word in this lecture so you can understand all the basics before you start. Okay, friends. So let's start and talk about email marketing in general. So what is email marketing? I think the idea for you is somehow obvious. Simply, we have an email list. We have some emails that say 1000 emails we collected through opt-in forms on our website we maybe extracted them from facebook from search engines whatever method you use to collect emails maybe you bought an email list you have an email list you have some emails and you want to promote a product to those people to those emails so simply you go and start sending emails how we send emails the operation the technical side or what is really sending emails is something called the smtp server this smtp server is that server responsible for sending the emails on the internet while the application you are using like send blaster or mail Wiz, or maybe my free application super email marketer or whatever application you are using to send emails and create campaigns this is called an email client application so in the sending operation we have two nodes or two things you need to know about we have the smtp server that is responsible for sending the emails and you have the email client or the email marketing application that you will connect the SMTP with and then you can create a campaign, you can manage your lists, you can configure servers, whatever you want to do. But this application in itself cannot send emails. You need to know that because some of my friends, I got some questions about what is the limit of sending in Send Blaster or what is the limit of sending in your application? Or how many emails can MailWiz send? Yes, there may be limits on Send Blaster or the email client application, but this limit is related to the application architecture or maybe the resources or how it's coded or how the programmer programmed this application. But in general, there is no limits when it comes to the application. The limits is related to your server. We'll talk about limits in a little bit and how to calculate how much emails you can send from your server. But before this, let's talk about email marketing systems. Usually, when you want to start email marketing, you may go with a certain company like Aweber, like MailChimp, GetResponse, or whatever email marketing company that you can get a service and pay a monthly fee, maybe like $10 for 1,000 emails or 1,000 clients and so on. Or you can simply build your own email marketing system. You can create your own SMTP server and get your own email marketing application and connect them and start your own email marketing system. So you don't need to pay any monthly fees. 
or you can open the limits because as you know in any company it, t it tells you that you can get around 1000 emails per month and for 2000 clients or 5000 clients for this price but if you want to open these limits you can simply get your own email marketing system like MailWiz, like SendBlaster, whatever email marketing system you can get and build your own SMTP server like using Power MTA or the methods that I explained in my Udemy course and here on my YouTube channel on how to build an SMTP server. You can check the links in the description. So you can build your SMTP server and connect them and open the limits. Wow, really great. And this is what I recommend, especially if you are working in CPA marketing and affiliate marketing, or even if you have your online business, whatever online business, and you need something to send emails, I really recommend to start with your own SMTP because you have full manageability, you have no limits, you can configure everything. It's really awesome. And in the same way, it's very easy. You can check my courses and you will see how easy it is to create your own SMTP server. Anyway, so now we understood that we have two sides, the client side, the server side, and the limits, or whatever you must think about sending emails, you need to think about it in the server side before the client side. The client can be changed. You can get whatever software you want, you can buy whatever email marketing application you want, but the server is the most important factor you need to think about. Okay, now let's end this lecture by talking about limits. What limits your sending operation? I got a lot of questions about sending limits. How many emails I can send per hour, per day, per month, and so on. The main factors that limits your email marketing campaigns can be summarized in three factors. Number one is the company limits that you are using. As I told you before, you may use a certain company to send emails or you can build your own email marketing system. If you are using a certain company like MailChimp, Aweber, whatever, they have a certain limits. They have a certain prices. Each package have a certain price. So obviously you will have some limits. You can read their own limits. Okay, now let's talk about the other option, which I really recommend. I told you about to start with your own email marketing system and build your own SMTP server. So how to calculate the limits? Here in this case, in your own marketing system, in general, there is no limits. What limits your campaigns mainly are two things. Number one is simply your server resources. Let's say your machine have only one gigabyte of RAM and one CPU. It may allow you to send around 1000 emails per hour. You tell me I want to send 1 million emails per day. Of course, it will not handle this large number. So simply, you need to increase your resources. The second factor when it comes to your own email marketing system is the IP address. The IP is really very important when it comes to SMTP servers. What really affects your email marketing campaigns and how, you, and how much emails you can send and where your emails are landing in the inbox or in the spam folder is your IP address, your IP reputation. So for that, we do something called warming up IP addresses before we start sending. You need to schedule a warm up so you can get a good reputation. Then you can send a large number of emails and make them all go to the inbox folder in the target emails. So for that, I think you heard about something called IP rotation. So we have one server and we attach multiple IP addresses then we use our server, our SMTP server, to send maybe 1 million emails, but we rotate IP addresses. So we send 300,000 emails using the first IP, the second 300,000 using the second IP, and so on. So in general, take this rule. One IP address plus one gigabyte of RAM plus one CPU is equal to 1,000 emails per hour, which means 24,000 emails per day. If you want to increase this limit, you need to add an IP address, add a CPU, add a RAM, and then you can multiply this number by two and so on. So calculate whatever you want according to this general rule. So that's it about SMTP limits. 
So please, whenever you want to ask about limits, ask about the server side and not the client side. The client can handle almost whatever your server can handle. Maybe if your application can't handle all this because of maybe some bugs or the application is architectured in a way cannot handle large numbers, you can simply install multiple applications on the same machine or multiple machines and so on. So we can fix this by installing applications or changing the application. It's not that big deal, but the big deal is the server side. So always think about the server side. All this I explained in my Udemy course. You can check in the description below if you want and get it now for only, I think, 9.99. So it's really cheap. So that's it. Please, if you have any question, you need any detail, I will be here anytime to help you. Just comment below, contact me on my Facebook page or whatever you want on my website. I will be with you anytime. Thank you and see you later. Thank you for following. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to like the video and to press on the bell for notifications. You can also view our other lectures. Thank you and see you in other videos.